Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. We're going to discuss uh, just a video on symmetry in integrals and basically go over this theorem and its proof. Basically, integrals of symmetric functions theorem. Suppose the function f is continuous on the closed interval negative a to a. This just means that uh, this function exists uh, at negative a and a. Basically, so we have this if f is an even function or it's even. It, this basically meaning f of negative x equals f of x, so any, it doesn't matter if it's x is negative or positive, it can be the same thing. Then we have the integral from a to, um, from negative a to a of f of x dx equaling just two times uh, basically integral from zero to a of f of x dx. But in the case of an odd function, basically meaning if f of negative x equals the negative of f of x, then integral from negative a to a of fx dx just cancels out and becomes zero. Now the proof of this, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, what we could do is actually break up uh, this, this integral right now into parts. So if we go negative a to a of the integral of f of x dx right here, we could write it as equaling to the integral from basically uh, negative a to zero of f of x dx. Remember, integral is just the area under the curve. So we go from negative a to zero, and now we add from basically zero to a of f of x dx right here. So we go from here to here. Now we can actually flip this, uh, this negative a to the top and put the zero to the bottom. We just put a negative sign. You'll learn more about that in my uh, integrals and their properties videos. Uh, see that in the video links below. So basically, bring this down. So we'll get negative equal because this is basically an area. If you if you go from uh, up, like basically if you switch these, you're gonna go with a negative area. So basically, we're gonna get uh, negative a right here, zero, and then f of x dx right here, and now we just add this part right here. So integral from zero to a of f of x dx right here. Yeah, so now the trick we could do right here is to write this in this form, but to do that, what we could do is uh, change this, this variable. So if we look at this function only, and we let u equals to basically negative x, and the reason I'm doing this, yeah, because uh, uh, when we do this one, uh, we're gonna try to change this negative a into a u, or that's positive, or, or an a that's positive. So what we have this part right here, if we have this, uh, then if we write x in terms of u, this equals to negative u. Uh, so x equals negative. You know, when we do the differential, the du, this equals to a little derivative of this one, is just negative one, or just negative dx. We always have to include the dx. So now when we write this dx in terms of uh, basically du, we get dx is equal to negative du. And the reason we're doing this is because as you see, we're gonna substitute these stuff inside this function or this integral. There's an x, there's a dx. But, so we wanna write these in terms of u. And also we can change these top right here. So now we can basically, if we substitute all in, well, we can do this one right here. So we'll go uh, at, this is gonna be u of zero. This equals to, well, well zero still, because that's just negative uh, x. And now this part here, we're gonna go from integral from zero, yeah, but this is gonna be actually, uh, this is negative a, because we're switching everything to the variable u. So now this is u of negative a, this equals to basically negative of negative uh, a, so that's two negative becomes positive, so this becomes a, and now we have, this is gonna be, because this is all in terms of f of u, so this is gonna be f of negative u, and now this is gonna be, well, negative du. So, but, but there's already a negative sign right here. So there's a negative, now it's gonna be negative du, so this cancels out right here. So now this, this whole, uh, these two parts of the integral, this equals to this part, and then obviously we're gonna add this part. We're gonna stick to this one with uh, the variable x, because you know, we're gonna try to just get it, because the variable itself doesn't really matter, as long as the functions are all the same. So f of x dx right here. So now this part, I'll just simplify this. I'll just write this a bit neater. So zero to a of f of negative u du plus integral from zero to a of f of x dx right here. So now we've written these two functions. Now they look really similar. This is integral from zero to a, but this is du and that's x. 
in this case. So now we look at the two cases. If f is even, so f equals even, this means then in this case right here, f of negative u equals to f of u. So we'll just write that down. This equals to basically 0 a of f of u du plus, now this part, integral from 0 to a of f of x dx right here. So now this is the exact same function. This is just a different variable, but it doesn't really matter. So even if we had this like z, dz, they're all the exact same thing. This is just a different variable, just how you write it. This x could be a y, it doesn't really matter. So these are the exact same functions. So because of this is an f of negative u, it just becomes f of u. So this just equals to two times any one of these. So we'll just stick with this one. Zero a of f of x dx right over here. So now there is our uh, proof of the first part of the theorem. So now when we look at when f is odd, this means then basically f of negative u equals to negative f of u. Yeah, so when we have this, basically if we plug this into uh, this part right here, we're going to get now uh, basically integral now of, um, this is from 0 to a, but now because it's uh, f of negative u equals to negative f of u, we can put a negative now, and this just becomes f of u du, and then again we're going to plus the same thing on the right side, 0 to a of f of a da, I mean f of x, yeah f of x I mean dx right here, As, and like I just said before, this is the exact same function right here. This is just a different, yeah this is just a different variable, so, but it uh, doesn't really matter if it's z, t, doesn't matter, this looks exactly the same, so we can just add these up, that's a negative of the same function, so these just cancel and you get a zero. Yeah, so uh, now if we look at a visual proof, if you look at an even function like this one right here, this this is an even function, basically f of x equals to f of negative x, and it looks at basically the same when you go left and right of the y-axis. So if we go from all the way to negative a to a, never integrals are just the area under the curve. So if we write this area as a1, and let's just say a1 equals to a right here, and since it's uh, symmetric, these are, uh, look exact. These are the exact same. So this is let's call this a two. This just equals to a as well. So now we'll have basically the area a one plus a two. Yeah, plus a two right here. And this just equals to well, they're both a. So we just go two a right here, and that's uh, visually how yeah, you can see that it should be. Yeah. So now if we look at an odd function, it would look something like this, where the right side is either positive or negative, but then the left side would be the opposite of this one. So in this case, as you can see, there's a positive area or above the x-axis, but to the left of the y-axis, as you can see, it's the same thing, but symmetric uh, in a negative form, so it just goes down like that. And so then if we call this area right here a1 right here, so this is basically, remember, these are the exact same stuff, so this would be a negative area, we'll call this equals to basically negative a, and this is this is all area over here, and this area we'll call this a2, and this is a positive a, because remember, it's exact same uh, from a from negative a to a, it's exact same area from 0 to, to a, but it's just this sign is different. So now when we have a1 plus a2, which is the integral, from negative a to a, this just becomes, well, uh, negative a plus a, and that's just equal to, yeah, and this just equals to, well, this cancel out equals to zero. Basically, so the net area is going to be zero. So these are the same, but negative, and they just add them up to zero. So anyways, this is all for today. Hopefully, you'll learn from this video. Yeah, and like always, you could download these exact notes in the link below in the description. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.